What's going on? Welcome to Kibo Games. My name is Juan. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it so much. This video is going to be about the games coming retail the week of November 26. We have a great lineup of games. Uh, one of these games actually was supposed to be mentioned last week, but then it got pushed to this week release date. So I'm just going to loop it in as a week of game coming out this week instead. So we didn't have a games coming retail re video last week. We are having it now Monday at its proper time as well. Because last week we more like a Black Friday. I, I was there wasn't really any games to talk about outside of the one that got pushed back, and I put out a Black Friday video instead for you guys to watch and enjoy. And it looked like a lot of people did enjoy it. I got a lot of views. I think 700 views at the moment that we're looking at, which is good. Thank you for watching that video, and thank you for coming to this one and watching this one as well. Let's get this going. Uh, keep in mind, covering the games coming to retail in the U.S. Also keep in mind, if a game's release date changes, I'll make sure to update you about that change in its new respective video. Let's start talking about some games. First things first, coming out this week by Wise Wizard Games is Star Realms Rise of the Empire. Star Realms already by itself is a phenomenal deck building game. What this Rise of Empire expansion does, it's not really an expansion, it's more like a, it's a, it's a standalone expansion, I guess. A uh, standalone game that you can play by itself or with your other Star Realms content. There's a lot of Star Realms content, by the way, a lot of it out already. This adds in a 12 scenario legacy campaign. That is super cool. This is a game that actually made uh, one of my anticipated games come to retail this year, and I am extremely excited to play it. I cannot wait to get my hands on a copy and play it. Uh, this is gonna, this is just going to be a deck. Star Realms is a deck building game. Uh, you can either play competitively or cooperatively. You're going to have a shop. You're going to buy cards with the currency you have in your hand it's typical deck building uh but it's just so much fun and in the realm of sci-fi with a bunch of cool cool ships looking ships super cool art uh, I, I i dig it this game straightforward like cooperative games this game's gonna be for you if you like competitive games deck building games this game's gonna be for you too this is probably one of the best if not the best deck building game competitive head-to-head -head battling deck building game I've ever played. And I've played a couple so far, and my list has changed recently. Uh, only because if you watch the channel a lot, there's a different game that I'm not going to talk about this moment to not take away the light on Star Realms, but this game is 10 times better than that game. Star Realms with the Vampire coming out to you this week by Wise Wizard. Check it out if you like cooperative games. Moving on to another game that came from Kickstarter called Empire's End by Brother Wise. Empire's End is coming out to you November 29th. Uh, Empire's End. I had to look up a couple of gameplay videos just because like the descriptions alone didn't give me an idea. It looks pretty neat. I actually do think this is, it looks like a fun game. John DeClaire is an amazing designer, so I'm not surprised. But yeah, this is a, this game is one that I really want to play and check out. And Empire's End, your empire is at its top of its glory. It's like one of the best empires in the world, but now it's time for it to come down. It's being torn down. Different catastrophes are going to happen, and they're going to come and ruin things for you. Uh, they're more called, they're more disasters. They're called disasters. Have it be barbarians invading, uh, volcano, right? Things happen that are going to make you work for different things. So when the disaster comes in, you're going to be bidding for them. So you're going to be like, I'll put three wheat and an axe so I don't get the disaster. And like, oh, well, I'll put four wheat and uh, four wheat and an axe so I don't get the disaster. And then at the end of the day, if someone who's going to be like the one, ah, it's just getting too expensive for me, they're going to grab that tile, that disaster, and they're going to bring it in. Uh, and they're going to grab all the resources that was bidded in as well. So that's kind of like the little, the little mechanism there where you're going to be getting resources from that. You don't just take the L from like getting that disaster, but you're going to bring it in and it's going to end up being placed under one of your specific cities, uh, cities, locations in your city, which are a bunch of 11, like a bunch of tiles. All locations, by the way, are worth some of them are worth points. They have different effects going on. The game seems extremely interesting. I really want to play it. I really do. I think it's going to be a great game. John DeClaire hasn't failed me yet, I think, from the, all the games I've played, so I'm really pumped. Empire's End coming out to you on November 29th. Moving on to Bark Avenue by Good Games Publishing coming out on November 29th. Uh, this game, Bark Avenue, I'm a big sucker for dogs. I mean, we talk about that all the time. I love dogs. I have two of my own. I And I, this game is going to be a game where you're going to be setting up, route, you're going to be optimizing a route, and you're dog walking, and you're going to be dog walking your dogs. It's a very light family game. Nothing wrong with that. I do have content for this game coming out real soon. Uh, you're going to see that on TikTok, on shorts, on YouTube. I'll do a, a, a little video as well. Uh, very straightforward. Family style game. You're going to go in the best route possible to walk your dogs. Each dog has needs, a home they have to be, somewhere they have to go. And you're going to be trying to find the best route to do that. Think of like Ticket to Ride 
but without the trains and without like more in the dog realm of it in a lighter game as well uh it's just kind of what it is it's a very straightforward family game if you love dogs and you want to try out a fun little cute game bark avenue might be there if you don't like light family style games i don't recommend bark avenue for you uh however i like i said just dogs and general pets i'm a big sucker i love those kind of themes so bark avenue coming out to you november 29th by good games publishing moving on to scholars of the south tigris by renegade games coming out to you on november 30th uh i'm a sucker for this one only because shem phillips has do, does design some amazing games uh i agarpil games in general have done some great great games i am a, a fan i am a huge fan uh, ever since I played the previous games, that, there are a bunch I've played, of course, including Hadrian's Wall, uh, which is a game I love. This game doesn't play like Hadrian's Wall at all, but it does have dice, ba uh, has dice, uh, dice placement, bag building, uh, all that sort. And I'm going to go down the list here just so you can see a little bit more. Uh, it's going to be a trilogy style game, and you're going to be going in, and there's going to be a lot of color mixing, worker mitigation, bag building, dice placement. It's a very unique style looking game. So going into the pictures, the game honestly never fails to show some very awesome, awesome work. I mean, the boards are always great. The way everything's set up makes a lot of sense. You think they're complex, and they sometimes are a little complex, but they just make so much sense. It's one of those games where you give it one or two turns, and you understand what you're doing, uh, which is why I, pre I think that's usually a well-designed game, in my opinion. Uh, and that's what this game looks like, that is. I mean, Shenfield, well, I'm kind of re I'm referencing that. That's what it looks like, the way it's designed and laid out. And I've compared it to previous games, saying that this game is, looks very similar. A lot of his, a lot of Shem Phillips games or Garpil games have very similar layouts, board, artworks, all that stuff. This game is one I'm really want to try out. I'm a big fan. I love, I love, 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 love Garpil games. I just don't know what it is about their games. I am a big fan of worker placement, and usually a lot of the games include that. We'll see. Scholars of the South Tigris, Scholars of the South Tigris, coming out November thirtieth. Say saying that 10 times fast. Moving on, we're going to go to Penny Dreadful coming out to you on December 1st. So I did not, I could not find too much about this game. I just know I saw a lot of, a lot of, a lot of publishers, like on the publisher website, as well as some other platform, a lot of other web pages. They're actually, this game's supposed to come out December 1st. So Penny Dreadful, <laughs> the little that I know, it's a game that really takes a lot into the story. And if you played games like Whitechapel and all those other previous games from this similar to this one, you're going to have it's going to be a very similar game. That's all I know past that. That the thematic and the theme and the story are like the biggest pivoting at that point. So I just could not find very much about it, but I want to let you know it is coming out. And a lot of you who played the previous games from the same uh, the same style, same publisher, that's pretty similar to those. Penny Dreadful. Penny Dreadful, Dread, Penny Dreadfuls of Victoria coming out to you December 1st. I am not able to talk today. My apologies. Moving on to Mycelia. Mycelia by Splitstone Games. This game was on Kickstarter and now it's coming out to retail. Interesting stuff. Uh, it's a mushroom strategic mushroom game. That has become a really interesting trend. There's a lot of mushroom games in the publishing in the publishing space right now. A lot of games about mushrooms, right? The mycelia, all that stuff. Mycelia basically is a network below the mushrooms. Uh, it's like the network is below it. It's not really about like the mushrooms themselves or the fungi, uh, you can call it. So in mycelia, beautiful game by the way, very interesting concept. And I'm not a big mushroom guy. They kind of scare me, even though I do love eating mushrooms. In this game, you're going to be creating a fungi kingdom, right? You're going to be growing mushrooms to score points, and they're going to be sporing to expand. You're going to expand your mycelia networks. And if you look here on the picture, you see that everyone's laying out their mycelia here, mycelia, and they're going to be growing and expanding in your network. And when they get when they are fully grown, you gain maximum points. I love these illustrations. Like this kind of like it just looks really realistic the way they kind of put it in almost, but it still looks artsy, right? It looks like it's still colored in. I love that, and also, also explanations of like the mushroom themselves. I love games where you not just are you playing a game, but there's so much to look at. Kind of saves you like if like for example, if you're waiting for your turn, you have something to look at, something to read, something to enjoy while you wait. Uh, so this game, going back to the game itself and the awesome illustrations that I really love, easy to learn, right? That's the biggest thing here. You have two actions to perform, and there's turn and six options. There's going to be area control in this game and resource management. I love me some resource management. I'm going to go back up to the pictures here so you have something to look at while I talk to you. Resource management, area control is one of the biggest things. On the board here itself, you're going to be putting down, you're expanding your spores, and you're going to be collecting your fungi. 
It's a little bit, little bit of tab wheel building, very small. And your whole goal is to grow them up and get score the most points. That is your whole thing. And of course, the way you create your network is going to influence how good of a game you have. Uh, interesting stuff. It's a very simple game. I'm curious. I'm really curious. I'm not a, like, the theme is interesting. It's not really up my alley of theming, but I do appreciate the fact that we are pushing the boundary more outwards and going beyond animals and beyond other things. Now we're going into like fungi, right? Or like mushrooms, uh, fungi kingdoms, mycelia. Mycelia coming out to you on December 1st by Splitstone Games. We are at the end of the video. We had a couple other games that I've looked into, couldn't find release dates for. I just didn't want to mention them unless I got for sure the release date and I knew exactly, I knew it was probably going to come out this week. So thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Thank you for making this far into the video. That is super awesome. I appreciate that so much. Uh, I love it. I love it when I see the views and I see like you guys coming in, commenting, interacting. It really, it's just fun. It's fun for me to talk back when I have the time, of course, and respond back to your comments and have a full blown conversation. If you're picking up any of these games mentioned in this list, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it. If you're maybe picking up a different game that you've been saving up for, you kind of put money away and you're like, ah, it's time for me to pick this game that I've been really wanting for a long time. I want to hear it as well. Let me know what games you're picking up this week in the comments below. If you like what we're doing, don't hesitate subscribing or liking the video. That helps a lot. Let's me know we're doing a good job. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. Have a good one.